things in Wyatt's mind. <sighs> what? You never experienced an orange robot beeping in your face? <laughs> the internet was primarily created for two different reasons. Boring education and crazy crap like this. But you know what would be real nice? If they were combined into one thing. That's where today's topic, Brain Pop, comes in. If you didn't watch at least one Brain Pop video in class, then I don't know what to tell you. The site first launched in 1999 and was created by some pediatrician who wanted to use animated videos to teach his patients. Brain Pop had over 1,000 short animated videos, with groups of videos covering a particular subject. Despite the wide variety of subjects, they were all taught by a single teacher. Two, actually. Tim and his robot sidekick, Moby. Each video began with the duo receiving a letter from someone asking about the video subject. Tim would then spend the next five minutes answering the question contained in the letter. Moby would sometimes add his own little comments via his beeping noises. The teachers at my school seemed to trust Brain Pop, which resulted in me and probably 20 other members of the Daydream team watching these almost weekly. Looking back now, I don't blame them. Brain Pop is good for feeding your brain anything you need to know. And I hear it's way less expensive than enrolling into a college. Brain Pop proved to be so dependable for any subject you can dream of that they eventually launched a Brain Pop Junior. Brain Pop Junior was made for kids between kindergarten and third grade. Aside from tackling smaller subjects, they also had a new host. Tim was replaced with a younger kid, but thankfully Moby still remained. There was also Brain Pop ELL which was made to teach English as a second language. And as time went by, the Brain Pop universe expanded. Heck, it wasn't just the teachers who trusted Brain Pop. I actually used one of their videos for a personal project once. But since Brain Pop came from the late 90s and early 2000s and was quite popular back in the day, take one guess of what it looks like now. Is it A, still the same, B, still the same, or C, totally different and has a duller look. I think it's pretty obvious. If you were to go with to Brain Pop today, you'd be greeted with a lot of dull. And I can't seem to find the videos anywhere. Let me know. Did you ever get shown a Brain Pop video in class at any point? They cater to any grade, so I'm sure at least one of you can go give a good answer. Anyway, let's see what comes into my mind next time, and I'm Wyatt Olinger, signing off. Things in Wyatt's mind!